The file system hierarchy standard serves as a guide outlining the principles governing the organization of Unix-like systems. Widely adopted in Linux distributions, it extends its influence to other Unix-like operating environments. Administered by the Linux Foundation, the most recent iteration, version 3.0, was unveiled on 3rd June 2015. Within the file system hierarchy standard, all files and directories are visible under the root directory slash, regardless of their storage on various physical or virtual devices. Certain directories only manifest in a system with specific subsystems installed like the X window system. While most of these directories are common in Unix-like systems and have similar purposes, the descriptions provided are tailored to the FHS and may not be applicable to operating systems beyond Linux. The primary hierarchy root is referred to as the root directory of the entire file system hierarchy. Essential command binaries required in single-user mode for system boot-up or repair include utilities such as cat, ls, and cp that are crucial for all users to access. The files located in the slash boot directory consist of essential bootloader components like kernels and innerd. Device files in the Unix-like operating systems are special files located in the slash dev directory. These files, such as slash dev slash null, slash dev slash disk is zero, slash dev slash sda1, slash dev slash ttpy, and slash dev slash random, provide interfaces for interacting with hardware devices or other processes in the system. Moreover, they allow users and applications to communicate with hardware components directly, enabling input and output operations. The host-specific system-wide configuration files are located in the directory, slash, etc. These files contain settings and parameters that apply to the entire system, affecting the behavior of various programs and services. It is crucial to handle these files with care, as they can significantly impact the overall operation and performance of the system. The name of the directory slash etc. in early versions of the Unix implementation document from Bell Labs was originally referred to as the etc. directory. This directory was used to store items that did not have a designated location elsewhere. Although the file system hierarchy standard limits the contents of slash etc. to static configuration files and prohibits the inclusion of binaries. Over time, various explanations have emerged for the directory name, including alternative meanings like editable text configuration or extended tool chest. These reinterpretations have expanded the original concept behind the naming of the directory. Configuration files for additional packages are housed in the directory slash opt. The directory slash etcher slash sgml contains configuration files utilized by software systems that handle sgml, including catalogs. The directory slash etcher slash x11 contains configuration files for the x window system version 11. These files are essential for setting up and customizing the behavior and appearance of the X window system on a Unix-like operating system. The configuration files in this directory play a crucial role in defining various aspects of the graphical user interface, such as screen resolution, monitor settings, input device configuration, and window manager preferences. By modifying these files, users can tailor the behavior of the X window system to suit their specific requirements and preferences. Configuration files found in the directory slash slash XML are used to store settings for software responsible for handling XML files like catalogs. Users' home directories are where individuals store their personal files, configurations, and other data pertinent to their computer activities. The libraries located in the slash lib directory are vital for the proper functioning of the executables stored in the slash bin and slash sbin directories. Alternate format essential libraries are essential components used on systems that can accommodate multiple executable code formats, like those supporting both 32-bit and 64-bit versions of an instruction set. While these directories are not mandatory, if they are present, they come with specific prerequisites. Mount points for removable media like CD-ROMs were designated in the file system hierarchy standard version 2.3 back in 2004. The directory slash MNT is designated for temporarily mounted file systems. The virtual file system slash proc contains a wealth of process and kernel information represented as files in the Linux operating system. It corresponds to a procfs mount, 
created and filled with data by the system itself as needed. The directory slash run contains runtime variable data related to the operating system since its last boot. It includes details such as currently logged in users and active daemons. On systems that offer slash run as a temporary file system, TMPFS, it is not obligatory to erase or shorten the files within this directory at the start of the boot process. This directory was introduced in FHS 3.0 in 2015. The directory slash sbin contains essential system binaries such as fsck, init, and root. These binaries are crucial for the proper functioning of the system, handling tasks like file system checking, system initialization, and network routing. Site-specific data is provided by the system through various means, encompassing data and scripts for web servers, information dispensed by FTP servers, and storage areas for version control systems. This functionality was first introduced in FHS 2.3 back in 2004. The directory slash sys holds details concerning devices, drivers, and select kernel features. The slash tmp directory is designated for temporary files with a similar purpose to slash var slash tmp. Files stored here are typically not retained after a system reboot and may have strict size limitations. The secondary hierarchy within the slash usr directory is designated for read-only user data and houses numerous multi-user utilities and applications. It is essential for this directory to be shareable and set as read-only to ensure data integrity and security measures. The directory slash usr slash bin contains non-essential command binaries that are not necessary in single user mode and are made available for all users of the system. Standard include files are located in the directory slash usr slash include. These files are essential for compiling programs as they contain declarations for functions and constants that are used in various programming languages. Developers rely on these include files to access necessary resources and ensure that their code functions correctly. The slash usr slash include directory plays a crucial role in the development process by providing a library of pre-written code that can be easily integrated into new programs. It serves as a valuable resource for programmers looking to streamline their workflow and leverage existing code to enhance the functionality of their applications. The libraries found in slash usr slash lib support the executables located in slash usr slash bin and slash usr slash sbin directories. Binaries housed in the slash usr slash libexec directory are meant to be executed indirectly by other programs rather than directly by users or shell scripts. Alternative format libraries can be found in locations like slash usr slash lib32, which are specifically designated for 32-bit libraries on a 64-bit system. This can be considered an optional configuration for users who may need to access such libraries in a particular setup. The slash usr slash local directory serves as a tertiary level within the local data structure, which is unique to the particular host. It commonly contains additional subdirectories such as bin, lib, and share. The directory slash usr slash sbn contains non-essential system binaries, which are typically daemons for various network services. These binaries are not crucial for basic system functionality, but are important for specific network-related tasks. The directory slash usr slash share contains architecture-independent data that is shared among different systems. Within the directory slash usr slash src resides source code, such as the kernel source code and its corresponding header files. The directory slash usr slash x11r6 houses the X window system, specifically version 11, release 6, following the file system hierarchy standard 2.3, which is an optional feature. Variable files are those whose content is likely to change regularly during the system's normal operation. They encompass logs, spool files, and temporary email files. The application cache located in slash var slash cache stores data that is generated locally due to time-consuming i slash o operations or calculations. This cache allows the application to recreate or recover the data when needed. Deleting the cached files does not result in any loss of data. 
slash var slash lib is a directory on a Unix-like operating system that stores persistent data altered by running programs, such as databases and packaging system metadata. In the directory slash var slash lock, one can find lock files that serve the purpose of tracking resources that are currently in use. The directory slash var slash log contains a collection of log files that record various activities, events, and errors on a system. These logs serve as a valuable resource for administrators and users to troubleshoot issues, monitor performance, and track system events. Each log file within this directory captures specific types of information, such as system messages, user actions, security events, and application activities. By analyzing the contents of these logs, users can gain insights into the historical data of their system's operation and health. The mailbox files can be found in the slash var slash mail directory, although in certain distributions, they might also exist in the outdated slash var slash spool slash mail directory. The directory slash var slash run stores runtime variable data, which includes system information since the system was booted. In FGES 3.0, there is a transition where the directory slash var slash run is substituted with slash run. For compatibility reasons, systems are advised to either maintain a slash var slash run directory or create a symbolic link from slash var slash run to slash run. The slash var slash spool directory is utilized as a spool for tasks that are pending to be processed, such as print queues and the outgoing mail queue. In the past, it also stored user mailbox files in slash var slash spool slash mail. Temporary files stored in the directory slash var slash tmp are designed to persist across system reboots. Most Linux distributions adhere to the file system hierarchy standard as a guiding policy, with exceptions like Gobo Linux and NixOS intentionally diverging from FHS compliance. While FHS serves as a baseline reference for common practices at a specific time, evolving distribution needs prompt deviations from the standard. For instance, modern Linux distributions feature a slash SISYS directory for system device management, in contrast to some traditional Unix-like systems using slash sys as a link to the kernel source tree. Variations in package installation paths exist, with some systems placing third-party software in slash USR slash local and core OS components in slash USR. Additionally, distinctions between directories like slash lib and slash USR slash lib as well as slash bin and slash usr slash bin or slash se bin and slash usr slash se bin are blurred in certain distributions through symbolic links or consolidation under slash usr. The introduction of the slash run directory in contemporary Linux distributions as a location for volatile runtime data illustrates a shift from older practices documented in FHS 2.3, addressing early boot accessibility issues. This transition enhances system operability, particularly when the root file system is mounted in read-only mode. Noteworthy adjustments made by Debian in its Wheezy release include reassigning writable files from slash dev to slash run, among other relocations for improved functionality. <laughs>